Hola amigos, what's cracking? It's your old gringo to Aussie here again. So today we're heading into Mad Max, down at the Riff, Pen Riff. So guys, they got this thing and I'm super juiced to try it. It's a one kilo burrito. I can't believe it. Now, here's the deal. When you get this one kilo burrito, apparently you can get a luchador mask. Now, I won't get it too much into that right now, but hopefully I did ring them up and they reckon they got the mask. So let's see if we get it. So guys, I'm going to go with a one kilo chicken burrito. We'll see how that hits. Never tried Mad Mex before, but I got to tell you, I am keen for it. $29.90 in case I forget to tell you. So it, be, it better be a kilo, I tell you. Hopefully we'll get this mask as well. Andre, Andre, yeehaw! Let's get it. And we're back, my little bambinos. <laughs> we got the mask. The luchador mask. Now, guys, I gotta tell you, here it is. And it does feel very weighty. The one kilo barito. Bloody hell. Uh. There it is. That's it. Yeah, one kg barito. I went with the chicken. $29.90. I actually wanted to go for beef, but it was a couple of dollars more. $31.90. I can't lie, guys. This mask isn't going to stay on for long, but we did get it. I reckon we should weigh this sucker. See if it really is a kilo, but I'm not doubting it the way it feels. Very weighty. Let's do it. I'm taking his mask off too. I can't handle it. All right, grab the old scales. Not something I do very often, but this one, we really need to test it out. Let's turn them on. Here we go. It's on weight. Let's just whack it on this way and see how it goes. Oh, it's close. <laughs> close, but no cigar. Let's put it down that way a bit. 985, 985 grams. I'll put it this way, see how it hits. Actually that way. I reckon it'll be the same. 980. So, say it's 985. Let's take this out. How much does the this thing weigh? <laughs> That's good, because we're going to need that for any spillage. So anyway, it's not far off. <laughs> Maybe just a couple more bits of chicken. Let's get it. Let's ditch this. Put it back in this little cradle. And it's almost time to eat. I reckon we should dissect it as well. Let's dissect the sucker. We got a knife. Let's do it. Oh, this will mark right there in the middle there. I'm going to do that. Because I have a feeling I am not going to be able to eat all this. So I may have to keep some for Ron. We'll give it a red hot crack though. Did that come off? There it is guys. Oh yeah, look at that. There's your burrito. It's got everything in there. Smells make amazing. So boo boo, without further ado, I reckon it's time to wrap my laughing gear around this thing. That's going to be a bit of a feat too. It looks pretty wide. Let's do it. Alright, let's give it a red hot crack. <laughs> Man, even half of that feels bloody heavy. It's bits falling out. I don't want to lose bits. That's the beans. Pinto beans, I think they are. Oh, amigos. Already I'm getting some fantastic flavours from that. And all I ate was a bean. Just rip it down a bit. All right. It's about to get real, and this will get real. It's going to be messy, I reckon. Let's tuck in. Now, I reckon I will only eat half of this. It's so massive. Look at how wide it is. First bite, I'm glad I went with mild salsa. I started right from the start i didn't do spicy salsa hot salsa whatever the hell the other two were or no salsa i went with the mild salsa i'm glad i did because 
Because if you saw the other day, I had full on spice. That's already getting me. That's the first thing I'm copying is the spice. And I am loving it. Like I said, I went with chicken. There's a little bit of his chicken. Try that on its own. It ain't bad. This is a fantastic burrito. I am totally loving it. So what's in this? We got lettuce, rice, chicken, pinto beans, I'm pretty sure, salsa, I'm pretty sure from what I can see from the menu. Oh yeah, it looks like there's sour cream in there, probably in there that looks like sour cream. You can see that creaminess, creamy white stuff there. Looks like some sour cream. And, as I already mentioned, mild salsa. <laughs> And I think there's pico de gallo in there too, but not 100% sure. But great combination, whatever's in there, it's a total winner. Tastes amazing. Jam packed, full of flavours. So even though it cost $29.90, we did get our little Luchador mask. Now guys, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but it's to do with wrestling. You probably know back in the day, Rey Mysterio, all that sort of stuff. That's your Luchador mask. Now, I'm not sure, 100%, I know this promotion goes until the 15th of this month, 15th of May. Not sure if this is still available after that, so I'm not telling you it's not, but this is the promotion with the masks, or unless they run out. They just happen to have them today, so I'm a happy little chappy. Not sure if I'll ever wear that for anything, but, you know, it is quite tight too, but it does lace up at the back. Actually, I'll show you. It laces up at the back so you can actually extend it a bit. I had to pull it right out to get it over my big fat head. But if I had a haircut and shaved my head, it might be a little bit easier. But I do have a big head, so, you know, <laughs> that's the way it is. Now, this thing, back to it. I can't stop eating it. It's phantasmagorical. Mad Max. So glad I tried it today. First time ever. Now, I'm just going to put that down for a minute. So because I was spending $29.90 today, and, you know, I'd maybe go back one day and get a regular size, or they've even got small ones. The small ones were under $10, $9.90 or something, I can't remember. I may go back and get the beef one, but I wasn't prepared to pay $31.90 today. If I go back and get another one, a regular size, we may do that one day. We'll hit Mad Mix again. But guys... I gotta tell you, because of the price, I bought my own Beveragino, which I picked up at IGA for $1.29. Now it's nothing fancy, nothing that we haven't had before. Got it at me local IGA. Kirk's Pasito. Now, that reminds me of Despacito. This is how we do it down in Puerto Rico. And it sort of all matches together. I didn't do it on purpose. I've had this for a few days. <laughs> I just thought I'd pick up some sort of little Beveragino for when I don't want to pay extra. And I'm paying a lot here today. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack it open. I think we know the colour of this. It's usually a yellowy colour, isn't it? Now, we've got a bit of a problem here. <laughs> I don't know how to say cheese in Mexican. I should have looked that up. We'll go with... Just cheers. <laughs> it's 
Should have done me Googles on that one. You guys put it down in the comments if you know. Some of you probably will know. So that's your Kirk's Besito. We always know it's a passion fruit taste. It tastes good. It's it's a, It ain't bad. Nice little thirst quencher. And I'm going to need to be quenched after this because this one is a total ripper. Now having said all that, let me say this. There was two reasons why I bought this thing today. Not just to put my little drinky poo in, but we got an ice brick in there. I'm a long way from home. I'm going to save the other half of that for Ron. And I'll eat that for dinner and heat it up. So we'll chuck, we'll whack that in there afterwards. And it'll be nice all the way home. So guys, this is a winner. A little bit undersized, but who knows? Maybe it wasn't measuring properly on this thing because it's a bit flimsy on this tray. But it was very close to the mark. And I've got to tell you, I really am a happy chappy. And I'm already getting full as a goog. So that's your Mad Max giant burrito. Total winner. Now what would I... I'm not going to actually... Well, I guess I could rate it for value because if you look at it, you get the mask with it too. $29.90 for the chicken one. Let's give it a three and a half stars out of five. For value and for taste, guess what? It's lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five for taste. It's a total winner. So guys, if you have a Mad Max near you, and you haven't tried them before, give them a crack. Considering that's a mild salsa, if you like your spice, it's hitting the spot. It's spicy enough for me. <laughs> give them a try, guys. Total winner today. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, never be too Aussie. Hooroo, and stay fresh.